Number 16, Anduin. Number 17. <laughs> Annoying things in World of Warcraft. Or a bunch of annoying things in World of Warcraft in no particular order. Keep in mind, I am not talking about the community with this video. I am talking about things in the game itself. I'm really curious if these things are going to be relatable. Today. Number one, the character creation in World of Warcraft. Despite it being almost 20 years old, it is still heavily outdated. We have no ability to customize our body shape. We can't change our height can't alter our facial features True. things like I cannot increase my boob size limited Star Wars Galaxies was a game that came out before World of Warcraft and its character creation blows this game out of the water in 2024 <laughs> number True. 2 Ultric Valley is one of the coolest ideas for a battleground two factions fighting for control of this wintry valley with the ability to do quests summon entire bosses additional units and stuff however dude ultric valley has just descended into nothing more than a boss rush and blizzard <laughs> has just completely given up on trying to make this battleground more enjoyable and people are pretty <laughs> fed up with outerag valley the idea for outerag valley is amazing but you know it's pretty lengthy and i i don't think that people are down to do super lengthy stuff nowadays you know in fact controversial take but i feel like the only time this battleground is enjoyable when it becomes a turtle game and everybody hates turtle games but at least it's better than just running to the boss and half AFKing while you wait for the why, towers. Why, to why there is a footage for Plunderstorm when he's talking about that drag yeah, Goodness gracious. Number three. Questing in Retail WoW, at least in the old world, is insanely boring, especially compared to all the new stuff in whatever the That's why I have a video that Rav made questing interesting again yeah questing is boring but whenever you try to play as an absolute noob player and you just dive in and you try to understand what this character tries to do and in the end you're helping him and whatever the narrative is i think it can be interesting but you gotta be immersed to be interesting otherwise it's just extremely boring the most recent continent is blizzard even seems to be constantly giving us ways to skip this process Skip Kalimdor, skip the Eastern Kingdoms, Outland, Northrend, Kul Tiras, Zandalar, whatever, it doesn't matter. Blizzard's always trying to find ways to help us skip it with offering us a leveling boost, faster experience gains. It's ridiculous. Even Wait, why is that ridiculous though? I, I don't see problem with leveling boosts. They're saving time. I think time is really valuable in this day and age. And if you can save time, good for you. Even have chromie time that allows people to play a more preferred leveling content look if early game leveling is really that much of a chore and even blizzard knows it why even have it just have True. people start in the newest continent and level up from there with the option to go back to do old content if they so desire from chromie i mean why not that's Number a good four, idea we oftentimes hear the complaints across the internet of how little blizzard cares for pvp or pve in some instances it seems that pvp is getting all the love and in other times it's pve but one area of the game, one massive chunk of the World of Warcraft population is always overlooked, and that is the role, role play. players. Even uh. the simple thing of adding a character description panel for players to read when they inspect, things like this still aren't in the game. And Dude, if they improve their role playing aspect, it, it can be absolutely massive. Can you can you imagine all the GTA role play, but in World of Warcraft, if you have the option, for example, to interact with your when you're flying with your drake for example and interact with another person who is flying with the drake stuff like that it's simple stuff you know and it took blizzard years to even add new character customization options to the races this is a big subject but blizzard doesn't even care about enforcing roleplay name guidelines on the roleplay servers nor do they care about the roleplay communities, even when they go as far as to raise money for charity like the Tournament of Ages. Blizzard doesn't offer these people any real promotion, and it's really disappointing because roleplayers make up such a large chunk of the people that play WoW. Number five, controversial take, but there's an in-game store in World of Warcraft. I don't have problem with that, man. You can fight me, I don't have problem with that. I think this is adding another monetization method to the game and eventually maybe it will lead up to blizzard removing the subscription because they're gonna have enough money that is coming from that store i don't have problem with that 
pay to play MMORPG and this is not play to play store in it. Now, if World of Warcraft was a free to play MMO, this would be completely fine, completely acceptable. You got a cash shop, it allows players to buy cosmetics, no big deal. However, since WoW is a game that you pay monthly for, why are artists being paid my $15 a month to waste their time creating cosmetic crap that I could- Nick Sim is looking at the other way around, like he's pissed off that he's paying that money and there is a cash shop that he basically already paid this money and now he cannot spend this money in the cash shop because let's say he doesn't have more money to spend but look at the other way around if you encourage the shop maybe the subscription will be lifted i don't know what's going in blizzard's mind but that's what i hope for could have earned in game i would rather that money go to server maintenance and the creation of the next expansion not stupid mounts pets and armor that should have been obtainable through achievements or you know playing the game not swiping my credit card number six why are multiple action bars and auto loot not turned on by default true on blizzard at least give me the option number seven night elf males still look way too angry when fishing they need to calm down number eight time travel now look all right hear me out i think warlords of draenor was a cool idea for an expansion but you gotta admit time travel sucks makes no sense breaks no. the lore confuses everybody reason why i'm bringing this up is just to you know kind of encourage blizzard don't touch time travel again all right it, it, it's not good <laughs> number nine plagues of bots are still an issue in world of warcraft after nearly 20 years how is this even possible is there not a honestly i haven't encountered any bots in world of warcraft maybe i did but it's not bothering me at all kind of don't understand what is the problem of bots maybe they're fucking up the auction house but i don't know i i personally haven't dealt with this issue the the whole point is if someone can explain to me why it's such a big issue i would really appreciate it them to detect a regular player behavior like if they're following a very specific path or they don't have natural delays in their play style because you know when you're playing you pause every now and again you know you kind of like look around for a second you answer your phone you check the whatever on the other monitor like th there's not a system for detecting bots i mean come on man like like look at season of discovery this was ridiculous number 10 the fact that the level squish in world of warcraft has resulted in some horrible itemization at low levels for example at yeah. low levels you might get a sword for example it drops off of a mob and it does one damage and then later on you know what you get a green axe a green axe everybody and guess what it does one damage <laughs> same issue happens with armor. You get rewarded new armor with the exact same stats as the previous piece you got two levels ago. And that's annoying. Number 12. Speaking of early game, just how easy it is to grind through the mobs. Guys, like, if you've never played World of... My suggestion? It sounds crazy, but try Iron Man. Uh, try Iron Man and you're gonna see how actually ridiculous the mobs are if you don't have any gear. Like, every mob feels like a raid boss when you don't have gear. It's insane if you don't have that gear it's just insane of warcraft before or if you haven't leveled up a new character in a while just try it out one day you feel more like a bully going through the world rather than <laughs> some bully. adventurer trying to conquer the world it already feels like you've conquered it it's just all these mobs and wolves and defias bandits and stuff are just in your way and you got to remind them of that fact number 13 exiles reach sucks just like all tutorial islands and all video games i said it now here's the thing exiles reach yeah it is um, but you think it sucks because you've done it probably 100 times by itself if you look at it it's good enough it's uh it's faster way to skip the first zone it's basically another zone it doesn't give you a lot but what is the orc starting zone giving you it's kind of the same it wouldn't be such a big deal but the problem as we already established leveling in retail wow sucks really bad right now <laughs> at early game and you just want to get through it as fast as possible and let me ask you a question which is faster exiles reach or teldrassil that's right exiles reach so yeah. if you're playing for speed like most of us are when you're trying to level up that alt and retail wow you gotta play this dang island over and over and over number 14 why is quelt the loss still instanced in 2024 number 15 <laughs> <laughs> also, why is Kul Tiras the size of the Eastern Kingdoms on the map? This is supposed to be some small <laughs> island. Also, why is the Maelstrom no longer centered? <laughs> Did I feel like Nixium just, he got frustrated with something in-game. Or, I don't know, someone frustrated him and he just sat down and he 
started right okay this frustrates you and this frustrates you and he made that huge list and he was like, okay okay today is the ranting day okay i, I sit down and i'm doing I'm doing this video god damn it and why is there so much crap on the right side of the map and not the left number 16 anduin number 17 <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot agree more. Why doesn't it get properly dark in this game? <laughs> Look, I want to have a new item slot on my character tab called Light Source, right? Anytime I enter into a dark cave in World of Warcraft, where it becomes nighttime, my character will pull out some uh, I don't know about that one. Illuminate the area around him. Okay? I don't know Basic about that source, one. Like level one. I prefer day and night cycles, not uh, to be, I don't know, and not to get that dark because... I don't know, personally, as a streamer, when it, it gets dark, you, you kind of don't see shit. So I, I kind of don't agree with that. I don't want to get fully pitch black dark. But I, I would love to have day and night cycles everywhere. But I guess that will be super hard to implement. Would be a torch. And then later on, maybe you could get something like a dro inspired dancing lights cantrip from D&D &D or something. It's like three little lights that orbit above your head and, you know, light up the area around you. There's lots they could do. And like different, you know, like tiers of light source could offer more light to a surrounding area. I don't know. The point is make the game darker. It'll make it more immersive, more cool, more fun. Anyway. I don't agree 18. with it. Even though it's been all these years, Gilneas is still empty as his own, and it's not being used by anyone other than depressed role players. Even after I mean, the whole so. Gilneas reclamation quest line, I mean, nothing really happened. It's just, oh yeah, we, we have Gilneas back now. Okay, cool. Anyway, number 19. <laughs> We really need a new end game path to potentially follow other than just PVE, PVP, or just collecting achievements, mounts, pets, whatever. I've always been in favor, for example, of creating an entire set of professions that relate to player housing or guild hall creation, where instead of spending your guild days going out nice. and fighting monsters or fighting other players, you spend your days chopping down trees or collecting mud, water, whatever you need, stone, in order to create like the dream dream house that you have always wanted in the hinterlands a more solitary way of playing the game but a very comfortable way nonetheless and number 20 last but not least blizzard really needs to develop some new characters for world of warcraft instead of just yep. reusing the same characters over and over this is something that i felt that they did very beautifully with garrosh when they introduced him in tbc but since garrosh we really haven't had a very memorable lore character come forward that isn't just forgotten in one expansion we got the troll lady pops up i mean honestly anduin was that kind of a character like even though nobody likes anduin but uh he he got developed over time up in battle for azeroth and we never see her again once the expansion is over we got the jailer in shadowlands he's got this big master plan he's gonna rewrite reality and then we kill him and nothing ever comes of it we just go to the Dragon Isles. If you're going to create some new characters, they really need to, you know, and sometimes Blizzard has characters just sort of pop up out of nowhere. Like, oh, like, where did this person come from? And what great significance have they had that has led to them being in this position? A great example would be like Alaria. A great example might be like Gen Greymane's daughter suddenly being made the Queen of Gilneas. What has she been doing since Cataclysm? How did she get to the point where she's ready to be a queen? I don't know. Maybe you guys know, but I don't. But anyway, those are just 20 annoying things yeah. in World of Warcraft. Again, in no particular order. What are some things about the game that you think are kind of frustrating? That's, that you think, uh, oh, that's a good ass video. Super relatable for most parts. Even though I said a lot of times I don't agree with